again. I'm back after a long gap. Things have been kind of crazy around Fernley Manor. But this is the long promised episode on chocolate flavor. Here's the bottom line. I made several experiments and I got my best results with plain old Hershey's unsweetened cocoa powder. The proportions are easy to remember. 2% by wet weight of cocoa and 1% of sweetener. There's a table in the description that spells this out for three different sizes of mix. But let's say you want to make a 400 calorie shake using Soylent 1.8 or unflavored super fuel. You'll end up with a 400 cc shake. That's 400 grams. 2% of 400 is 8 grams of cocoa powder. Conveniently, one half of a one level half teaspoon of Hershey's is just a shade over one gram. So four level teaspoon measures would be eight grams, although I prefer to use a digital scale. That ratio will give you a rich chocolate flavor, but you won't be able to drink it because it's bitter as hell. Chocolate has to be sweetened. Let me refer you back to the video on sweeteners at the start of this series. But for reference, I'm using monk fruit that I bought on Amazon, which I dilute 9 to 1 in warm water to make a sweet liquid. You could make the same kind of sweet liquid by diluting pure sucralose powder. For the chocolate flavor, I found I needed 1% of my sweetener. That would be 4 grams in a 400 cc shake. And that gave me a rich chocolate shake. This is a Soylent shake I made yesterday. And here is a Super Fuel shake made the same way. And they're good. I want to report on one other chocolate flavor. The one from Huel. I've commented negatively on other Huel flavor powders in previous videos, and my review of their chocolate is not much better. The directions say to use one half teaspoon per hundred grams of Huel powder. So I started by adding one half teaspoon to a 400 calorie Soylent shake. Not Quiel. That should be enough per the directions since 400 calories of Soylent is just over 80 grams of powder. I couldn't taste it, so I doubled it, adding another half teaspoon. Could barely taste something. Added a full teaspoon, now we're at four times the recommended amount, and I got a hint of chocolate. And when I doubled again to four teaspoons total, eight times the directions, and coincidentally the same quantity as I used of the Hershey's, then I got a moderate, unsweetened chocolate flavor. It has no sweetener, so while it does taste of chocolate, you must also add sweetener. The result is not as good as with the Hershey's. It's not as strong and it has a burnt, bitter aftertaste. So, once again, I'm left asking, what does Huel think they're doing with these flavors? At the very least, they could give you a clue that if you use it with unsweetened Huel, you must add some sweetener. Maybe it works by itself if you put it in the vanilla Huel, which is quite sweet already. So, bottom line on chocolates. It's easy. Just add Hershey's cocoa at 2% of the finished shake's weight and 1% by weight of a sweetening agent and you'll have a rich chocolate flavored shake.